Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have my June monthly highlights to share with you today, and I'm using this gorgeous kit by Hello Petite Paper. I've also pulled out some washi with rose gold foil that would match with the colors in this kit. And let's just get started. So, of course, I start by putting down the top bars. I love Hello Petite Paper's kits, especially her monthly ones, and the colors of this one are just so pretty. So if you're new to my channel, I like to jot down a highlight of each day in my monthly and it can be something as small as getting a special coffee or something as big as a wedding. So on the first, my highlight was definitely getting to edit my Stockholm vlog. I absolutely love editing travel vlogs. I want to make that more of a series on my channel because I love it so much. It truly just brings me so much joy getting to relive a vacation or a trip that I took and then being able to share that with you. So I hope you enjoy them as well. On the second, I went to a concert with Carolyn from Carolyn Plans and it was really good. We had some beers and just jammed out to the music. I think Ava Max was there and Fletcher was there, which is the new artist that I discovered and I really like her music and more. There was a K-pop band there, so that was super fun. And I used this concert munchkin or concert scene from Once More With Love. On the third, my sister brought home some delicious Japanese cheesecake and there was like the regular flavor and a coffee flavor, which you know I love. So I used a cake from Fox and Cactus to mark that. On the fourth, I got some new inserts from Jesenia Printables and I printed them out to use in my planner. And they're always so gorgeous and it makes me really happy. So I put that down as my highlight. On the fifth, I got a free drink from Boba Guys. They made an extra of the strawberry matcha latte with oat milk and boba, which is my favorite drink from there. And they are like, who wants it? And of course I was like, me. So that was really awesome. On the sixth, I didn't have a highlight down, so I put down some washi. On the seventh, I had a lunch date with my sister during her lunch break from work and I used some girls from Fox and Pip to mark that. On the 8th, I spent the day editing my Copenhagen vlog, which was really fun for me. And I'm actually thinking about doing a Q&A for a video for Dreamsgiving next month. And I know some of you had some questions about solo traveling. I'm not a subject matter expert, but I definitely love to share some of my insight and experience from this trip. And I don't have enough experience, I don't think, to make a full video out of it, so I thought it'd be nice to include in a Q&A video. So if you have any questions for me about anything, planner, travel, or otherwise, please leave them in the comments below as well, and I'll try to answer them in an upcoming Q&A video. Also, if you have any requests for videos, please let me know as well. I kind of already mapped out all the videos for Dreamsgiving, but I'd love to do another series maybe in December or January for the new year if this one goes well. All right, moving back over to my planner. On the 10th, I started The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye, which is another book in the Millennium series. That's the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series, and it was really good. So I used a Fox and Cactus Girl to mark that. On the 11th, I didn't have a highlight down, so I'm cutting down this washi, or not washi, these strips that were meant to cover up the days that aren't in the month. I love the anchors and I definitely wanted to incorporate them somehow, so I cut them down into a full box size and then now I'm decorating them some more with some rose gold foiled mini clouds for my shop. These are actually, oh sorry, they're not in my shop. I made them for myself, but they are part of the $50 plus freebie. On the 12th, I had a Miss Foil sale in my shop, and I plan on having those once or twice a year. And it's nice because I get to get rid of a lot of my Miss Foil stock, which definitely piles up, and I get to also offer them at a much lower price. On the 13th, I didn't have a highlight down, so I again cut up one of these strips with the anchors. And I think I forget to put the clouds on them, but I will remember later and put them on, I think, after I finish all the highlights. So the 14th through the 17th or the 18th, I believe, the 17th, I was in Vancouver for Marg from Once More With Love's wedding, which was so fun and exciting. And the 16th was also Father's Day, so I put that down. That label came from the kit. And because it didn't go all the way to the edge, I decided to put down a heart from Clever Gal Crafts. So on the 14th, I used a plain sticker in the kit 
to mark that I flew to Vancouver with Carolyn from Carolyn Plans and then I put down some wash. I would have done some lettering there, but we all know my track record. The 15th, Marg and Tom got married and it was such a beautiful wedding. I, I mean, the joy was palpable, the love was palpable, and I was just so honored to be there. So I do try my hand at lettering very carefully, Marg and Tom. And then I put down gets married with just like regular pen and regular handwriting, but then I thought it looked a little weird. So I whited it out and instead put down a label and wrote down wedding instead. And I thought these munchkins were perfect because they're like B and C and that's what Marg and Tom call themselves. And I still don't remember what it stands for. I just still always think Bonnie and Clyde for some reason. But anyway, so cute. On the 16th, Carolyn and I spent the day kind of exploring Vancouver. We biked around Stanley Park and got some really yummy sushi, which I'm still thinking about. It was so good. So I used a munchkin biking to mark that. And then on the 17th, we flew home. So I didn't have anything marked down for that day. So again, I'm staggering some washi, and I think all of my washi this video Oh, except for this foiled one, which is from Target. Everything else is from Simply Gilded, of course. On the 18th, I decided to go outside on the deck at my gym to do yoga. So normally I do it inside in the yoga studio, but sometimes when I just feel like I need some perspective or air, being out there on the deck with the breeze blowing and looking up into the clear blue California sky really grounds me and makes me appreciate all the little things as I'm doing in this video and the big things too. I'm going to post a picture here to share with you the vibe I'm trying to describe because I cannot describe it very well with my words. So on the 20th, Senorita came out by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello, and it is definitely the song of the summer. I adore that song. I fell in love with it the minute I heard it, so I'm super, of course, that was my highlight. It's on my playlist. Like, I just, it's Shawn Mendes, first of all, but yeah, it's just a really good song. So I put down this highlight of my day sticker from See Amy Draw, and then I did some doodling with some music notes and hearts and X's and O's. On the 21st, it was the first day of summer, of course, which I put down the label that came with the kit, but the real highlight of my day was that Letty made us breakfast before she left with work and it was really yummy. So I used this breakfast sticker that was actually a gift from Rochelle from Planned Princess a while back and they're some of my favorite breakfast stickers, which is actually why I hoard them. On the 22nd, I got new glasses, which was super exciting. It had been a couple years and I got a new prescription, so it was time for me to get some new glasses. And actually, I was going to get them as, like, computer glasses, but then I love them so much that I decided to get them as, like, everyday glasses from Jin's. So that was really exciting. On the 23rd, we, or my sister and I, got Thai for lunch. And I'm using this coffee sticker from the Alex Studio. I don't know what they're called now. I don't remember. Oh, Little Dog Paper Co. I'm actually not sure if they're even open anymore. But I did get a Thai iced tea, which was really yummy. So that's why I used that sticker. On the 24th, I got dinner with a friend and we caught up. And we actually got dumplings and like Chinese food at a new place that opened up in town. So I used this flat lay from, or I guess it's like a scene sticker from Wonton and a Million. On the 25th, I went to spin class with my favorite instructor for the first time in like a month because I had traveled and then I injured my foot and this was the first day that I was feeling well enough to go back to spin class. So that was definitely my highlight. She is the best. I love the way that she teaches, that she rides out of the saddle and her music choice is on point, especially when she plays Shawn Mendes. So on the 26th, I believe I had an interview and it didn't go as well as I would have liked it to. I didn't move, like I didn't make it to the next round, but I was just proud of myself for doing my best and showing up, and I used this It's Okay sticker from C. Amy Draw. On the 27th, I didn't have a highlight down, so again, I am staggering some washi, and I like to rip it because it gives it a more 
scrapbooky vibe, which I really like. I think if I were to cut it, it would one, take longer, and two, just look a little bit too neat. And yeah, I just like the undone vibe of having ripped edges. On the 28th, I passed the professional certification exam that I had been studying for for a while, and I passed with flying colors, so I was really excited about that, and I used a happy, joyful girl from Fox and Cactus to mark that. On the 29th, I went to a barbecue at my sister's friend's place, where Luna, my favorite dog on this earth, resides, and we got to barbecue out in the sun, have beers and wine and cheese, and of course I got to play with Luna, and there was another dog there that was super cute. So that was definitely a big highlight and a great way to celebrate. I mean, it was my own personal celebration, but they didn't need to know that. Anyway, I was really happy to see Luna again. On the 30th, it was our boba bitch anniversary, so I used this boba treat sticker from Paper and Milk along with a boba lettering sticker by Malika. That's a collab that we did, it's available in my shop. And now I realize that I forgot to put down the clouds for the other full box, so I'm doing that really quickly before I move on to the washi banner. So I do like to go horizontally now because it's much more time efficient and easier. Plus it also looks pretty good. And this anchor bow washi from Simply Kilded matched this kit so well, so I definitely wanted to use more of it. On the sidebar, I wanted to use some more of the anchor, so I cut that out and did another full box. And each month I like to write down an intention or a thought that carried me, carried me, excuse me, throughout the month. So this month it's by Ernest Hemingway, go all the way with it, do not back off. For once, go all the goddamn way with what matters. And because I had a little bit of room there, I added some more of this gorgeous constellation washi from Simply Gilded. So that's it for this June monthly. I hope you enjoyed. Here's a Viv Wiggle for the rose gold foil in the spread. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.